everyone and welcome back to Juicy Arrow 800 Mega City Edition. And we're back in Sohom. Isn't it looking in that lovely with all the fortifications? Uh, we are just going to add a few more in the form of the bows. And also, we have lots of cannons here. We don't have a lot of influence, but I think, I think, I think, I think we can actually build a few more. Yes, I would like to do this. Let's build um, this flamethrower, this flamethrower, and this one. Three more for all the influence that we have. And with that, yeah, well, so home got a bit more fortifications, and it's going to be more difficult now to um, take out any of these, right? Um, any of, all, well, the island in general, because you need to just uh, tone down a lot more um, defenses before anything happens. More flag towers will also be appreciated, so we have five last time. There weren't much of a use, so I'm probably going to ramp this up to even a few more. They're mostly coming down here from the west right sort of from over there um so i'm going to build more towards this area just in case she's uh, trying this this madness again however well i do need influence flag however don't need that much influence only five the flame throwers need 15 they're way more expensive now all nice and dandy we also have the first tree rod now coffee is already flooding in it in great speeds um and i would like to start with uh, the next production chain into home now as well since we can afford it right since i'm feeling a bit more confident doing all of this in Sohom, and a reason for uh well and what we are doing here is adding the caoutchouc plantations i don't really want to import them with the docklands because we do need those slots for something else and they're also not that difficult and expensive right uh just for the sake of having it in let's also get a trade union in, even though i don't think we're going to use a trade union for caoutchouc plantations And there you go, once again, the whole area filled. Uh, let's build let's build the fire stations and the warehouse. And then let's also check out what my current um, bicycle productions need. 10 um, per minute there at the moment. We only produce one, so I do need to build those 10, if not even more. And they are quite expensive. 30,000 for three, right? And let's make it uh, 50,000 for those five, right? And then those again. And this already leads us to 10. However, of course, a, sur a surplus is always appreciated. So let's also build these three here and this one there too. What the heck? Let's build all of them. I mean, why should I wait on that? We have the coin. Let's also upgrade both of these warehouses as traffic will quite increase in this area, of course, as well. Now with that, we have everything ready for the next trade route that goes from Sohom to also Crown Falls then with bowl of caoutchouc and it's probably going to be two ships doing this Workforce shortage. and ooh, i don't have a oh that's fine i don't have a cargo ship available right now i've used my last two for the white flag uh two influences what we have sorry ready. sorry sorry do we have an empty a an idle yeah there's toto again uh toto can actually get destroyed off it goes we don't need the royal clipper anymore really and with that i can afford another Again, cargo ship an it's way better source. for transportation to i'm going to use it oh i can see miss hunt is preparing something i think we should be proactive about this and just move the fleet in right uh, there is another one and i'm going to keep well, nothing else really we have those ships available and she's she's she doesn't have that many so we should be fine plus most of them are ship of the lines let's move them in mm, yep yeah. no wait <laughs> we are going to combine both of my my fleets here and let's actually group them up this is number one and this is number two so i can i don't need to select them all the time like this we're just going to be proactive there she's probably yep she's going to to gather up a fleet there there's more ships coming She's preparing an attack on Crown Falls again, and we are going to we're going to screw that up with her. I've got lots of uh, cotton fabric. Let's uh, throw this overboard. In fact, let's also destroy this clipper so that I can build a second cargo ship after this one. Just more important, cargo ships are the future. By the way, should we we should have already? No, we don't have advanced weapons in yet. We do need to build more factories, right? I've got the first one running. It's already producing. Let's have the second one now. Producing at 200% of its original speed, right? Leading to two per minute. 
While we're in the area, uh, also, we got the first legendary export good. That is the soap. It's actually also capped. We're producing too much of it, which is golden, of course, because we can use just more of that. Um, and that is the schnapps that we're already getting in, so that is fine. Wood is also fine. I might actually just get the volume up because I can. Um, and for grain, we're also looking really good. I might just check what we might need other than that. Because there's always something, of course, that you can need um, for raw materials. I think, now yeah, coal is fine. We don't have iron in here. Didn't I, didn't I get actually iron in? I think we did. Uh, Alright. Let's use yeah, 1,800. Oh, yeah, we're getting it in Catastra. There is, though, a reason why we should go with iron as well. Because the canneries will soon be able to use iron on top of that. More of it with our items that we use, right? And the other thing would be brass at some point that we can also start importing. Also, swing machines is at level epic. Um, it would still need 3,000 more tons before we can move it up to legendary level. These are two very important goods. We probably should start exporting a few more other things. But really, Ship under attack. Yeah, volume would be actually something. Ah... Yeah, that's just one of my sorry cargo ships. My groups are ready, though. There it is. Airship attack coming in. He's doing it again. Let's get my ships out there. Yeah, she's attacking my Docklands. Holy cow, really. Miss Hunt. Crazy, right? Your island is under attack. A direct blow to my Docklands. And only now would she start moving her fleet. However, of course, this time we were a bit proactive. Let's split, let, let's split them up, right? So they're... Take care from both sides there. Or is she fleeing, actually, again? After destroying my Docklands, she's fleeing again. I want to take her. Alright, she's under attack from my harbor now. She's trying to stay out of it. Look at that. There's the radius here. And now that she's getting stuck at the cliffs here, we can take her from both sides. Very good. And please don't take this literally. That is gross. What is also gross is the amount of ships that she's losing right now. And that's what should be... Workforce Just, right? Yeah. She's lost almost all the ships now. And... A ship was destroyed. Hmm. I don't care about the small islands, to be honest. Here at the edge. We, we could get some influence back if I destroy them. To be honest, that would be probably a good idea for now. This island here I don't really want. It's a bit of influence coming back. Uh, actually, that was less than I thought it would be. Let's get my ships back. Also, we need to protect our trade channel, of course. And off they go again. So, home is ready for some air defense again. Two more flags join the defense. And that's why you see that I'm not using it for Crown Falls, really. Crown Falls has ridiculously high morale levels. So, even if she bombards this area, she would even need to bombard the whole beach area and this whole area for morale to actually get to critical levels. And even then, she would need to move in her fleet um, to crumble the morale to the white flag. And even if it's at the white flag, Crown Falls usually does not give up that easily. So, she would push it way down then, even then. So, I'm not building any harbor defenses for now. That is my... That is a, a risk that I'm taking, of course, because she, she could always push in very quickly, um, but I, I, it's a risk that I'm taking because I need to defend my other islands that she definitely will overtake if I don't defend it. So, that's that. Now, about the Kautschuk. Is my... Yep, we have another cargo ship available. Let's let's apply one of the DLCs to it, the ship Freighter. That's an ugly color. Really, really ugly ship. Still, let's use it. Kautschuk we have available. And Flying Dodo. You are on this latest trade route now. Move to the new world. And the same goes with the coffee. By the way, where's my ship for now? In transit. Getting the first batch of coffee then ready for Crown Falls. So that we can finally continue upgrading more people to, to investors. Holy cow, we really need that. Everything else will be fulfilled. Well, rum. Rum we could provide, but that is only for happiness six. Also, getting a few more people to engineers doesn't hurt. Let's go ahead. They're all in the range of the bank. Leading to another nice and massive um, income of money. And especially here at the at the docks, right? Or at the, the harbor. Which is going to be a, a, 
a beautiful hub area, of course. We definitely need to have some beautiful buildings there as well. The school is not that close by. Oh, the siege is over too. We do have the materials, of course. Let's repair our docklands. That's it again, right? Yes, this one is just a bit of damage, but that's it. That was the whole damage. Just cost us a few building materials. Uh, there's a bit more. And yeah, let's also have more engineers here. And then I would like to upgrade those two artisans. Let's just build a small school here. Really, we just need it for now. And then I'm going to get rid of that again. Another cargo ship is coming out. And let's build two more since we can afford that. Very important. And also, yes, flamethrower monitors. This is sounding really good. This sounds really good. Let's build one. Let's build a flamethrower and add it to my fleet because this makes crushing those wooden ships really easy. And look at that. She's actually going into shotics there right now, but with just a few ships. But I, I don't think that this is a deliberate attack here. No, she's backing off again. Her main fleet is still down here with all her air force. But seriously... They will not do any damage to, to Crown Force. However, of course, they could attack Shotix, for example. But I still, I don't have the influence. I need to take priorities here. Of course, as always, we are also trying to improve our relationship here. Non uh, Bente still would not like to go with a non-aggression pact, even though we are past 50. It's okay. And with Hugo, we stay there. And I think with Miss Hunt, there is really no chance... Especially since she's going up so much with her military score, there's no chance for any kind of peace treaty or non-aggression pact. I would love that, but unfortunately, we will have to work with that as it is. Now, let's quickly check out. We should be able, yep, to upgrade now those people to further improve Crown Falls in this area. Also, there's some workers here. Oh, there's two fire stations close by. We certainly don't need that at the moment and we also don't need that warehouse there so we can leave this area at the moment just some green belt close to the city balance wise we had 40 and we're past 50,000 of course Angie has loaded the first batch of coffee Fangtooth can now join freshly built for the next coffee production and by the way let's also change those skins here a bit around as I really just love these trawler looks on the cargo ships Meanwhile, in Sohom, let's continue um, building the remaining coffee plantations. Let's also upgrade them, of course. We have the materials for that. And I would also like to build a few more coffee roasters with that. We do have around 21 right now of the coffee plantations. And at least two more we can build of the coffee roasters. One more here, one more here. And let's also upgrade those warehouses. Even though they're not really full used as coffee roasters are not that fast with their production. Okay, we had with the latest siege then a bit of a trouble here. There's also still the plague, but my hospital should take care of that. There's one, there's one. Probably build another one on the other side too. Over here. And then the boxing arena in the center to further boost happiness for all my people here. There's also one of the residents' quests here at my local bank. All they do is complain about being poor. What of hard work? If I did it from nothing, so can they. A photograph of me can prove it. Alright, seems like a very likable person. Let's make a photo of him on uh, at the bank. Probably get a nice reward out of that. Do we? Cargo stations. I don't see anything. So probably didn't get a reward at all. Dash there it is. Intoxicator. Farmer residences, workers, bonus supply, or... Yeah, well, that is very cheap. Right, no problem about that. I would also like to continue with my main quest in Crown Fools. The Scepter of Capone has been recovered and restored, along with the Pride of the Empire, apparently. The Queen has little use for it locked up in a vault. She wants her subjects to come from every corner from the... Now, where should we build it? I think for now we build it right up here at the end of my avenue, right? So this is kind of like there it all ends then going up here and a bit further outside still. Uh, the local museum or the local zoo. This is the central park. This is going to be some monuments. Um, then we also have the iron tower. We could also 
to to be honest have it here the museum i think this is also a safe bet for it um we don't need to make it that big for beginners right for starters um this should be fine should also give us then the nice bonus that we need from it and then we're just going to assign now a few modules and build the museum And there you go, our little museum. For now, we also have some exhibitions ready. For the others, we would need 10 influence then each. So for now, we, we keep the outer ones, actually. Just the outer ones um, on hold, right? Just this one. And we can build that one here still. And that's it. It has a fence around it, of course, as every museum should have. Because we are, of course, exhibiting interesting stuff about it. Um, and then also a little kiosk stand here right in the middle. A drink stand for everyone that wants to drink something together with some columns. Let's have a quick look what we can already exhibit. And that is the Scepter of Capone for the 50 attractiveness that it would give us. So much to be gleaned and with that, that also fill, finish either. that quest. People will come from far and wide to behold the Scepter of Capon, the ultimate exponent of my authority. My dreams, one's youthful... And with that, an exhibition to show off the reclaimed Scepter of Capon, an heirloom set to run in the blood from Magister, triumph over La Corona at Trelawney, opened its grand doors earlier today. For helping me see the king, my father, as he really was, warts and all. Now there's still one more thing, and that is we need to sail to her ship. Tribute to a legend to receive Admiral Nadaski's military regalia. And I think this is also for the museum then. So at least there is some beauty now coming into Crown Falls, right? By the way, in the meantime, while we built this one, yeah, we got the coffee in again. Let's unlock it for my people. Engineers and investors alike, coffee is flowing once more. I may have been wrong about Admiral Yes. Nadaski. Upon my return, this is the ultimate reward then. Two more epic deal. items for the museum. And also Hogarth, the harbor master. Let's get this one to my harbor area. And with that also, by the way, the last quest opens up. Just the exco escort her. And the walrus, my cargo ship, will do that. Just so casually to, to claim any reward that she might still have for us. I, I don't expect anyone attacking the queen, of course. The queen is satisfied with your work at Cape Trelawney and is ready to return to her domestic duties. She would like to be safely escorted from Cape Trelawney, just as you promised her Archibald she would be. Alright, and that leaves us finally completely in charge with Cape Trelawney. Let's also get those juicy items then to the capital so we can also exhibit them at the local museum. Be strong in business. And become a pillar of our nation. And with that, she gives us full ownership of Crown Falls. One headline dominates the front pages. The Warden of Trelawney, after great service to both a city and a nation, Nivarius has been officially appointed Warden of Trelawney and Governor of Crown Falls at a grand ceremony conducted by Her Majesty the Queen, Empress Royal of the Southern Territories. Usually there would be a big achievement now popping up, but of course we have done this before. So with that, finally that quest is being concluded and we can move on to further story quests in the future. However, of course, we celebrate just now with that museum here that we have. Well, it's a beginning. We do have more artifacts now. Plus Hogarth, our harbor master. And let's just exhibit also now the Nasky's medal. Just to top it, right? So they look towards each other. And then, of course, also, for example, the sword. Looking like something for now. We don't have more. I am intending, though, to get more. So I have my salvager also ready. 
and we could already find us more. For that, however, I would definitely like to find another white flag because I'm certainly not going to push my, my salvager out there without a white flag. It could always get destroyed. And I would also like to equip it with some more items that would give us something. So, for example, we get Lemmy here. Uh, equipped with uh, the uh, scrap amount plus 20% also increases the chance of finding items of rare and epic rarity while diving. I like this fella here. Let's do this. The little magnet here, by the way, we don't really need. Uh, can I disequip it somehow? Yeah, I can sell it. At least that's something. Um, and then definitely the white flag, right? And once we have it, we can then get these um, legendary treasure hunts. Actually, let's, let's do this. Let's get this one already. Um, no harm in not getting it for now. Um, and then perhaps another one here. Yep, like this one, the Herdsman Journal also 100,000 for it. We have 2 million on the account though, so we can't afford that. And now really, before I start on treasure hunting, I will need to get the white flag, which could take us, as we can see, quite some rerolls again. But until then, I just do this outside of recording. Meanwhile, also Kautschuk is now in Crown Falls, 245 tons. And with that, my bicycle factories are fully working again. Those two up here that are also getting those bonuses from the trade union, pushing them to 250. I think with that we should, yeah, we are actually positive with just two uh, bicycle factories there. That means also that I no longer need to import that and we can actually, well, delete it. However, seeing that my, uh, my steam motors are already close to their first upgrade, I will keep this one for a while just so that I can get another trade license out there with my, with my Docklands. Back to city development, let's go ahead and have us another university. We only up to this point have one university and I would like to um, make this one better now, of course. The second one, yeah, we could easily afford in here for that. Let's just see where I could move my, my workers. Do we still have some farmers? There we have some farmers left. So we can move uh, those workers all the way down here. Right, they have all their commodities as well in this area. That makes it possible to move the artisans down here. And with that, we do have a bit of space here right next to our church to build another university right here at the main street of Crown Falls. We do need that because with that, we have all of them here fulfilled now to the engineers especially that we have so we can finally also upgrade them to investors because I would like to make another big push now Towards investors, I think this whole district here we can upgrade now just around the members club that we have there. And look at that. The numbers are already coming up. Eh, just a few more people need to move in. And yes, this is going to be fun. Let's uh, do it with the artisans on that side. And then with all the investors, whoever wants to be investor. And with that, we do get lots of more influence. And that is the important thing here right now. Ah, even more over the here. Left yeah, ruined. all around the, the power plant actually we can upgrade more. Those guys, look at the influence. 150 we have. There's still a few more over there. And with that, we are depleting our brick storage, but that is fine. On every street corner oh, also we have unlocked the skyscrapers now. With that, elevator production would be There's up and running. And the next DLC brains. is being unlocked. That was just beautiful. We are totally out of materials now, but Sky that is fine. That was worth it. And yeah, let's go ahead and just the change the appearance once again. Oh, where's my... Sorry, there it is. Bader, and by the way, don't worry. It's going they to look more diverse than this. I don't know. No, I know not everybody is happy with my brick investor buildings, but holy cow, you, I am. This is looking just fantastic, and we're going to get this model here through, even to the skyscrapers. Now with that, 190 influence is a lot. 190 influence means we can pump out more ships. We can pump out more... Um, investors and yes we can also bump out now the first battleship I would like to commission this one battleship ready for construction 20 minutes it takes and we continue here in the next episode stay tuned